Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your old pal Chuck, and welcome. Thanks to my friends at InsidePulse.com and the fine folks at Bithpang Pal and Teletoon at Night or whoever else I hope I'm not forgetting. Um, this is from the Awesomes Proc. If you do not know what the Awesomes is, it is a Hulu original program. That means if you have the Hulu service to stream television shows online, this is a cartoon, adult cartoon, that was created specifically for that channel. If you're a fan of comic books, you'll like this program. I have to say, I've watched quite a few episodes, and it is hysterical. It's basically the Justice League if Superman's son, who really can't do well, took over. Proc is the leader of the team, called the Awesomes, um, and the figure is done in that classic Mego style. For those of you who don't remember or don't know, Mego was uh, eight inch, seven inch figures. I'm really not sure of the scale that were released during the 70s. They were of comic book, Marvel, DC, television characters, um, very articulated sort of scaled down versions of G.I. Joe with fabric costumes they go for a ton of money on the aftermarket even the revivals of the Mego figures that have been done by various companies in recent years go for a pretty penny um, and that's what we have here with Proc this is a full cloth stretchy costume with solid plastic boots um, very good likeness to the character. Um, he does have his signature little smirk going on. Uh, no accessories. I was a little disappointed by that. I would have liked to have seen him come with maybe a removable cast for one of his arms. Um, if you're familiar with the series, he is accident prone. Now, um, I haven't undressed the figure because it's a little weird. Uh, but I did take, pull down the costume far enough. It's basically built like a vintage G.I. Joe, but the arms, and I would assume the legs, are connected by an O-ring. And that's because as I've moved this, the arms around, especially this arm, I've actually had it fall out of joint. I don't know if that's a QC issue or how those style of figures work. Now, for articulation, the head is on a straight swivel joint. You can get some of the wiggle, but that's just, you know, n incidental, not on purpose. Universal joint in the arms. You can rotate the arm 360 degrees, but this costume does get in the way. Bend at the elbow. There is no rotation at the elbow, but there is a little bit of rotation at the upper arm. Keep in mind that the, sp the springiness of the costume does limit... Um, the range of movement coming down to the wrists they do rotate and can bend in and out so very nice bit of articulation there um, waist swivel with a little bit of an ab crunch and you can of course bend at the hips speaking of the hips they do they are very limited because of the costume and really that's about the only range of movement you can get from them knees do bend at a very nice 90 degrees but again, the only real rotation comes up here at the hips from the joint, and that is very limited due to the costume. Um, obviously, the thick rubber boots, I can't tell if there's any type of movement in the feet, and I don't want to undress the figure to find out. Just wanted to give you a quick look at um, Proc's head sculpt here. It, it is very nice, and it is very close to the animation model. One thing I will say with toy development in the last 10 to 14 years is they figured out a way to get much closer to the to those, the way the figure with the character looks on the animation screen with the sharp lines and stuff. I mean, like there is that angle there to the face. Um, I can see the mouth here because it looks like it's just painted on. Um, check for paint control that you have both lines to the smile i think i would have preferred to have seen a molded face but i can understand why they did it like this um to be truer to the cartoon um like i said the costume is very nice this is actually a very good matching of color to the costume in the show 
the belt, his utility belt down here, uh, is all felt and you know uh, fabric. So there's that. It is removable. There is Velcro back here as well. Velcro back there. And, ooh, crock butt. Uh, moving down again, same color. There's the boots. Very thick, heavy boots. It's a very nice looking figure. Um, but I will freely admit the ar the limits of the articulation from the suit do take it down a couple notches. I think it's safe to say that um, these line of figures from the Awesomes TV series are not meant for children. First of all, the Awesomes is not meant for children, and I would strongly recommend not letting anyone under the age of uh, 15 watch, if not older. You know, parents, it's up to you. Uh, these are adult collectibles, and I think because of that, there's a, less of an emphasis on play value and more of an emphasis on just looking like the character. Um, I'm not really sure what stores would carry these. Um, I know Toys R Us has carried other Mego-style figures, but made by various companies. If you can search around the net and see if you can find some, definitely uh, pick them up if you're a fan of the series. But keep in mind, um, with Proc, you know, there was a, there was a limit in our articulation due to the costume, and I'm sure it'll be the same for the other figures. This is your old pal Chuck for Proc. We'll see you next time.